Hi, Dr. Meng again, Mini Health Talk to get you healthy again. Today, we're gonna talk to my Chinese tongue diagnose. How to use your tongue to guide your health. Next slide, please. Okay, before we uh, do the tongue diagnosis, I want you to uh, do a stress survey. So I want you to take a few seconds to write all the symptoms you have on the piece of paper and do it now. Okay, next slide. So I believe you write a few symptoms on the piece of paper already. So what is a symptom? Symptoms in your body, just like the check engine light in the car dashboard. It's an indicator of something going wrong in your system, which need to be fixed. So when you have a car check engine light on, do you sync mechanics? to check it up or you just keep driving until the engine burn up. So same way, do you have a symptom? Do you keep just let your body running until it breaks down or you take care of it right away and today? Next slide, please. So why are we stressed? Those are symptoms a sign of stress, physical, emotional stress in your system. Number one, the, the reason for stress is too many symptoms are neglected. Oh, you have some headache, you neglect. You, you have a poor sleep, you neglect. You, you have some lower back pain, neck pain, you neglect. So the more symptoms you neglect, the more stress you're gonna carry. The other thing is too much focus on negative outcomes. So this is the emotional aspect of stress. Uh, have a project or worry about missing deadline, or broken relationship, or fear of failure, you can list a whole list of it, no matter what it is. The thing that causes your stress is a negative thinking of what are you doing and what do you experience today. Next slide, please. So before I start the tongue diagnosis, so I wanted to share with you a story about a Chinese famous physician, Hua Tuo, Dr. Hua. So one day, Dr. Hua was summoned by the king uh, to the king's palace. So we, upon he entered into the palace, the king was so pleased. He said, Dr. Hua, I heard you're the best physician in your kingdom. Dr. Hua was so surprised. He bowed him down. He said, Your Highness, I am not the best physician in your kingdom. The king was surprised. He said, What are you talking about? The whole nation talk about you. Uh, to use acupuncture to uh, make the dead, dead alive and you use surgeries to remove the uh, the tumors in people's system and then uh, save their life use herbs to do miracles to their to, to their life what are you talking about you are not the best friend who are, then who are the best he's Dr. Hua said my second brother is the second best physician and my oldest brother is the best physician he said, what are you talking about? He said, my second brother treated the disease at the early stage. My first brother treat the body even before it gets sick. So the, uh, the, the, the king got us confused. He said, you know, before the disease happened, when you treat it, what's the use of it? He said, your highness, you, you look at your beautiful palace, okay? Are you rather somebody like me? When somebody destroy your palace, I come over to fix it and restore the original uh, look? Or you rather my second brother come over to fix a small um, uh, uh, problem in your palace? Or you'd rather my first brother to guard your palace like his life and, and, and uh, prevent anything bad happen to the palace? Now the king said, Dr. Hua, I understand it. Next slide, please. So, what the last story tells us is that the best physician is a prevention physician. That's the best physician. The second best, uh, the better physician is early stage physician. The common physician is a later stage physician. So, please help me and help a clinic to be the best physician, not the common physician, okay? So, what is Chinese uh, tongue di diagnosis? My Chinese tongue diagnosis. 
so why I'm telling you this so that you can look at your tongue that's an organ through your uh, phone or through your uh, mirrors so that you can see how your health uh, where, where your health is uh, at okay tongue is a god-given gift for us to flip our internal organs out to look into our health but number two through tongue's appearance we can diagnose and treat diseases number three by change of the tongue, we can know our health and how the treatment goes. Next slide, please. So, what is each part of the tongue represent? So you can see the naked body here and naked body here. Each tongue is like a standard naked for us to look what our internal organs uh, uh, function. Okay, next slide, please. This is clear uh, tongue diagnosis. The top of the tongue, of course, is our head, just like we stand there naked. The, the, the middle up of the tongue is the chest, and then this area is the abdomen area, and this frenulum is our spine. And this little bubble here is our genital area. To men, it's the testicle. To women, it's the ovaries. Next slide, please. So in the other uh, concept I wanted to uh, understand is the yin and yang, okay? Yin, in, this is Chinese concept. So when you talk to Chinese medicine doctors, they often mention about yin and yang. So you have to know what is yin and what is yang, okay? Yin and cold are the same. This is the top of Mount Rainier, okay? It's all the yins, the snows there and the cold, is that right? That's yin, okay? I want you to remember that. Okay, next one. This is yang and hot fire okay so when you feel warm you have too much yang when you have you feel so cold that you have too much yin okay next side please so what is the normal sublingo normal sublingo is like a pure red so no much uh, vein dilations and no uh, bruises okay this is a normal sublingo next slice what is this sluggish circulation you can compare with the previous slide you can see the vein so bluish all dilated here okay this is sluggish circulation what does sluggish circulation mean that means your body have no sufficient of nutrition and retain too much toxins next slide please you can see this tongue yellowish yellowish and then the fat deposit, so much fat deposit here, yeah. okay? When so much fat deposit, then we need to fix it. Next slide, please. And next one, this red and inflamed, with a, we call this toxicity. In, uh, in Chinese medicine, it's heat toxins, okay? You can also see the dilated vein here, the circulation is bad too, and a lot of inflammation there. What is inflammation? It's too much toxin retaining your cells, uh, cellular system, cause the cell system swollen and inflamed. Okay, next slide, please. Bruises. You can see this is a uh, fresh bruise. That's a fresh internal bleeding. This dark bruises. This this old internal bleeding and bruises. Okay. Next one is cardiovascular disease. You can see this patient has cardiovascular disease. The circulation is so poor. This usually when the vein almost like a worm standing there with the bruises, more often uh, they have a heart, uh, certain degrees heart failure already. Okay, next one, please. Prostate cancer. You can see this uh, spine, this genital area. There's so much process here, bleeding is here. So this is a prostate cancer patient. Okay. This one is a breast cancer patient. You can see this patient's anemic. You can see in the chest area, the bumps. And also you can see, usually if you have a, um, a little bit of anemia, it's okay. Anemia combined with the blood stagnation, that's more often the sign, the cancer sign. Okay, you can see the bumps 
and as anemic and the sluggish circulation in this patient. Infertility. You can look at this patient. The whole, this patient is not fat at all, but uh, her whole cellular system are replaced by the fat cells. And also you can see in the general area, she almost have no fertility bug. But if you see an infertility patient like this, you know you have a lot of hard work to do to really rebuild her health, to get her uh, to be able to hold the baby. Next one, please. So this section is question and answer because I cannot answer your question right now. So I want you to feel free to leave, my, uh, leave uh, your questions and my comment areas. I'll try to answer each of your questions as soon as possible, okay? Next slide, please. So before I end this uh, um, presentation, I wanted to end this program by offering you a gift, okay? Now let's you hear the gift, okay? Next slide, please. Let, let, let me explain what the gift is. It's an opportunity to receive free of charge a comprehensive wellness consultation in addition to an acupuncture treatment to see how much we can help you. This would usually cost me, I think this is around $230. However, I'm offering this to you as a gift, which means there would be no charge to you as a thank you for watching my YouTube videos. When you call for the appointment, please mention about your watch or YouTube videos, okay? There are four reasons for you to accept this gift. Number one, health problems get worse over time if not treated. Number two, if you feel great, you will feel great if we improve your health and eliminate your symptoms. Feeling great is what life is all about. Number three, I'm going to waste, I'm not going to waste my time or money. If I cannot help you, I will let you know and refer you to someone else who can. Number four, you have nothing to lose because I'm going to do the consultation and screen for you at no charge. I want to thank you again. If you like our pro uh, program, please sum up. If you ha uh, have any comments, please leave the comment area. If you uh, want to watch more program to come, please subscribe our channels. Thank you again. We'll see you next time.